redeeming the time because the days are evil you know so um I pray Holy Spirit that you take over will you speak through me God and let your words come out God not my will but your will be done in Jesus name you know redeeming the time because the days are evil so i'm here reading um ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 to 16 and i just thought i'd share you know just a quick you know message you know from the lord and verse 15 says see then that you walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise redeeming the time because the days are evil and we know something um about um time you know time it goes and once it's gone it doesn't come back like it's gone it's gone you know, that's one thing you cannot buy. You cannot buy time. But, you know, Father God, he gives us time, you know, day after day, you know, to do the right thing. Every day, like every time you wake up from your, every time you wake up in the morning from your sleep, whatever the case is, every time you wake up, it's like, it's like a new day, you know, to get up in, you know, get your life right with God, you know, to do what is right, you know, so I was just sitting here asking myself, like, you know, like, what is, what is it that we're doing, like, what is it, you know, that we're doing with the time, you know, that God has given us, because time is passing by, you know, the world is ending, and the thing the devil will try to do the most is, you know, kind of, like, distract, you know, try to distract people you know from seeking God you know and doing what it is just trying to throw distractions at people you know I was telling my sister like I was explaining this to her you know like before you know I could um come deeper in the things of God um you know I would like just make excuses you know tell God like you know God like I'll seek you tomorrow you know, I'm too tired. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Delaying, delaying, delaying. But then I would spend my time doing pointless things. Spend hours on Instagram. Spend hours on Snapchat. Doing nothing is not benefiting me. You know, that's what the Bible says. Um. So then walk circumspectly, you know. Being considerate of, like, how you're spending your time. You know, not as fools, but as wise. You know, and it kind of just reminds me of, like, the ten wise, I'm sorry, the ten virgins, right? You know, five were wise, five were foolish. You know, the five wise virgins, you know, they were redeeming the time. You know, they were trying to regain possession of time. You know, when you use, I feel like when you use time wisely, in a sense, you are regaining time. It's like in your possession, basically. You're being effective. You know, you're not procrastinating. You're not being sluggish, you know. In the name of Jesus. You know, but you're getting things done. So in a sense, you're redeeming time. You're regaining time. You're doing what it is. You know, you're making the most of the time that you have now, right? So you're redeeming the time in the name of Jesus. You know, and those that's exactly what the five wise virgins were doing. They were redeeming time. They were spending time with the Lord. You know, they were doing exactly what it was, you know, that they had to do in the name of Jesus. And, you know, the five foolish virgins, you know, they didn't really care. They weren't redeeming the time. They were walking as fools. You know, they were, you know, getting entangled, you know, with the affairs, you know, of this world. You know, things that were of no value. You know, this is just like a 
I guess it's like a convicting word. Like I'm sitting here like, God, like I need to make sure like I'm spending as much time as I can in the word of God, in prayer, in fasting. The days are evil, you know, so we have to make most of our time, you know, and just, you know, seek God. Yeah, so this is just a quick word, you know, for us to just make the most of our time, make the most of the time God has given us because, you know, this thing, you know, this life that we live, we only have one life to live. And after when we're gone, we're gone, you know. And it just, it breaks my heart and it makes me very concerned, you know, because people think that's the lie of the enemy. The enemy will try to tell you that you have time to repent. You have time, you know, to get right with God. But the truth is, there's not a lot of time left. You know, time is ticking. Just imagine, like, in the Bible, when, like, in the days of, like, Paul and, you know, the disciples they were saying you know the coming of the the coming of the kingdom you know is at hand that was like years year like years ago just imagine like so just imagine how close we are to like the coming of christ so you know it's not time to play around it's not time you know to fool around but it's time you know to really give our life to God, you know, surrender, repent, you know, wow, you still have breath, why you still have time, repent, you know, turn your life around, you know, if you're living in a sinful lifestyle, you know, because right now, you know, the grace of God is still here, you know, so let's make most of the time, let's redeem the time because the days are evil in the name of Jesus